the Humanities Building. All the bad Bauhaus come to a head in this gray slab, this domino, this plinth, standing among the olives or the old oak trees, as the case may be, and whatever the climb. No bells, no murals, no gargoyles, but rearing like a fort with slits of eyes, suspicious in the aggregate, its tons of concrete, glaciers of no known color, gaze down upon us. St. Thomas More, behold the humanities building. On the top floor are one and a half professors of Greek, kicked upstairs but with the better view, and two philosophers and assorted Slavics. Then stacks of languages coming down, mainly the mother tongue and its dissident children. History has a building all its own. To the bottom level with its secretaries, advisors, blue-green photographic light of many precious copying machines which only the girls are allowed to operate. And all is bathed in the cool fluorescence from top to bottom, justly distributed. Light, innovation, progress, equity. Though in my cell I hope and pray not to be confronted by a student with a gun or a nervous breakdown or a girl who closes the door as she comes in. The old guard sits in judgment and wears ties, eyeing the new in proletarian drag, where the assistant with one lowered eyelid plots against tenure, dreaming of getting it. And in the lobby under the bulletin boards, the Baudelarian forest of posters for transcendental meditation, Audubon Group, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Scientology, Arab Students Co-op, case of the curious bride. Two students munch upon a single sandwich.